Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about the most important piece of software on your computer and that is the operating system. I'm going to go over what an operating system is, I'm going to go over some examples of operating systems on both your mobile and desktop devices. Let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned it's the most important piece of software. It's basically the brain of your computer. It manages every time you open up a file and it also manages your software and memory on the computer. One more thing that the operating system system does is it transmits the communication between you and the computer. So whenever you type on your keyboard or click on your mouse, your operating system executes those inputs, processes them, and gives you the output that you're expecting. Now, the different types of operating systems that you see here are typically preloaded on desktops or uh, laptop computers. They're the three most popular, Microsoft Windows, Apple, Mac, and Linux. They all three use what's called a graphical user interface or GUI and that allows you to click icons, buttons, and menus on your computer. The first one that I'm going to talk about here is Microsoft Windows. Windows was developed in the 1980s and it's the most popular operating system in the world. It uh, uses pretty much 80% uh, of the global operating systems and so so all of those computers are using Windows, uh, some version of Windows, whether it's Windows 10, Windows 8. Now again, that's an estimate, but by and large, most computers are using the Windows operating system. And again, I'm talking about desktop computers here, not mobile devices. Windows 10 is the newest version of this software, and it came out in 2015. All right, so the next one I want to talk about comes from Apple, and that's your Mac OS X operating system. Now, this one's developed by Apple, and it's preloaded onto Macs or MacBooks, and that's their laptop version. This is the second most popular operating system in the world. Now, if Windows is taking up 80% of the market and Mac is taking up 10%, well, that's obviously a big difference between the first and second largest desktop operating system. The reason for this is is Macs are typically more expensive than your uh, PCs or your window ten, Windows 10 computers. Now, um, if you've ever used a Mac or you've ever used a Windows computer, you will notice that there are some big differences between the two operating systems. I know that every time I get on a Mac, I have to really pay attention to what I'm doing just because I'm not as used to it. So you guys have probably seen some of my other tutorials on Windows 10. You guys know I'm very familiar with that. Whenever I get on my Mac, I'm still learning how to use it. So um, that's one thing that you do have to know if you ever switch operating systems. Now, the third one that I wanted to talk to you guys about was is called Linux and Linux is a, an open source operating system meaning it can be modified and distributed by anyone. The uh, ability to be open source and the, the fact that it's open source means that many versions are available on Linux. So many versions and many servers run Linux because it's relatively uh, easy to use on um, as far as software goes. So your um, Another advantage of Linux is that it's free, uh, but the thing is, this is the third most popular operating system and less than 2% of global operating systems are currently using Linux. So if you're looking for a free option with many versions to choose from, you may want to go with a Linux operating system. So those are your top three most popular desktop operating systems. Now we're going to look at mobile devices. Okay, so if you use a mobile device, uh, you know that your mobile device is generally not as full featured as your desktop. For instance, if you have Microsoft Excel downloaded on your phone, you're going to notice that it's a lot easier to use on your PC or on your Mac. The reason for that is pretty much because uh, of all of the different hardware components that you have available on a desktop, right? It's a lot more difficult to run applications or very large applications on mobile devices than it is on a desktop. Uh, typically they can't even run all of the programs that a desktop operating system can, uh, but they do have specialized programs that only run on mobile devices. So here are some other things to note. As far as mobile operating system market goes, there's really two large competitors um, for your operating systems. The first one being your Apple iOS, right? That's uh, Those are going to run your on your iPhones and also your iPads. Now, Apple typically, uh, 
it's only going to run on your iPhone and iPad, meaning uh, pretty much if you're running an iOS, it's going to be an Apple product, right? Uh, however, Google Android, they have a bunch of different types of phones that run Google Android. You guys will see Samsung, LG, uh, even obviously the Google Pixel, things like that. All of those types of phones are going to run your Android operating system. So uh, those are, the, again, the main piece of uh, software on your computer, make sure that you always have your operating system up to date and ready to go. And so that's a little bit of background on the operating systems, who the big players are in the desktop and the mobile markets. And so hopefully you learned something on this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions on any of these operating systems, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.